Hey, Vault Hunters, the Borderlands show is back Tuesday, March 24th, and you need to tune in. Why? I'm here, Fran's here, Mitsu's here, Anthony's here, and Anthony from Gearbox is going to talk about so much stuff. What you might say, uh, the next campaign expansion, Mayhem Mode 2.0, the Revenge of the Cartel seasonal event, the next level cap increase. The next level cap increase. What's going on everybody? So as all of you probably know by now, we have a lot of things coming our way in the very near future for our dear beloved Borderlands 3. In this video, I'm not really going to cover the specifics of the update content since many other YouTubers already do that. I would rather prepare you on what skills to run for when you gain that extra level or two or however many they're going to add this time. Because the level cap is currently at 53 and with just one more level, you can unlock the second capstone for your Vault Hunters, which is huge and I'm crazy excited to dive into some crazy builds for that. So for this video, I will just like really quickly be covering two flak builds that I'm going to run post update and if you guys really like this kind of thing, I can cover the other Vault Hunters too before the updates and DLC come out. So with the first build, it's one that I've kind of been wanting to run for like an incredibly long time and that's the double capstone combo of Megavore and the power inside. Megavore allows you to crit off of anywhere when hitting an enemy and the power inside gives you and your pet a damage buff after activating an action skill that doubles if you're at full HP. This is probably one of the highest, if not the highest, damaging build that you can run for any Vault Hunter, let alone Flak. You have so many useful things here like the Leave No Trace and Headcount abilities to combo with Megavore, and things like Furious Attack and Interplanetary Stalker that get buffed by Big Game to give you some fantastic bonus damage. Since I'm mostly like a solo player, I will be running the Fade Away action skill and not my Circus along with either Until You Are Dead or Unblinking Eye. Fade Away is just too good in solo play to add to your DPS and give you a great way to escape bad situations when you're under heavy fire. The pet that I will be using is the Spider Ant Scorcher because she gives you an elemental damage buff and bonus health regen buff. The next build is almost identical to the first one because the blue tree just feels even worse to spec into now since you can get two capstones after this update and the blue tree capstone is just really really poopy. The only real difference here is that I moved the 3 points from Overclocked into all my BFFs because this is more of like a multiplayer co-op centric build. I also will be using Racket Attacks instead of Fade Away for this one with the Flock and Load and Raxcelery Augment and the Beefcake Jabber for mobility and HP buffs. The switch from Fade Away to Rack Attack for multiplayer is pretty much solely because of how strong the Rack Slag Anointment is. Once your Rack hits an enemy while you have this Anointment, that enemy takes double the amount of incoming damage, and this bonus is stackable with other debuffs such as the It's Piss Grenade. The Anointment is incredibly powerful in squads of two or more players because once you spread your Racks, the enemies will just get pulverized by you and your friends. And that is actually going to be it for this quick video. Make sure to go rack attack that thumbs up button if you enjoyed the video, and please go leave me a comment if this was something that you enjoyed and want to see for the other Vault Hunters. They are a little more versatile than our robotic beast lover because they don't have a tree with like a useless capstone. Don't forget to gamma burst that subscribe button and notification bell to stay up to date on all of my content. Thank you all so much for watching to the end, and I'll check you all in the next video. See ya! Good night.